Okay, so this is your first history-changing piece of the 20th century, Arnold Schoenberg's Perot Lunaire. Uh, this piece is so important and impactful for a variety of reasons. Um, but the thing that is most striking when you first hear it is you kind of ask yourself this question, what the hell is this? Let's be honest, that's probably what you did. I'd love to have seen your faces when you heard it. It probably did something like this. Right? You crinkled up your face. You're like, oh gosh, this is terrible. I don't want to listen to this. Um, as much as your face makes uh, makes those looks, um, we've got to look at the history of this piece and what it's doing. This is a German art song, although it's hard to make out much of the words. Uh, Schoenberg invents a new technique called Sprechstimme, speak talking, sing talking, right? Which is that style that's kind of like speech and singing all together. Uh, it's in German, so it's kind of like a German art song in the style of Schubert from the Romantic era. But instead of hearing a melody and a beautiful piano accompaniment, you have all these like little pointillistic elements going on in the rest of the ensemble. The clarinet and the flute and the, and the um, cello and the piano all just kind of zipping around. Um, and nothing really makes any sense. It's hard to hold on to uh, and try to find something to listen to. Um, that sounds good, but that's kind of the point. This is this tale of this kind of deranged clown who sees a spot of moon on his, on his vest and he can't rub it out. He can't figure out why it won't go away. So it's supposed to sound silly and absurd and crazy and modern. Um, there's so much to this piece and this style of music. The fact that harmony is thrown completely out the window uh, using the concepts of atonality, a lack of a center or centric p uh, pitch or tone for you to kind of latch your ear onto. Um, I don't love listening to these pieces either, but I really love the reactions of people when they first hear them.